Welcome to the today's session on isometric projection of a frustum of a cone. So, so the problem here is a cone with a base diameter 50 mm and height 70 mm rests with its base on HP. It is cut by a horizontal section plane at a point on the axis 20 mm from the apex. Draw the isometric view of the frustum of the cone. So the solid here given is a cone with these dimensions and is resting with its base on HP. And here it is cut by a horizontal section plane. So it means your section plane is parallel to your HP. And it cuts the axis at a point 20 mm from its <coughs> apex. Okay. So as usual when you are going for isometric you will be going with the three steps. First step will be a simple projection wherein you will be projecting the cone and the second step will be getting the section points upon applying your section plane and third will be your isometric projection. Okay. So for as usual let us start with the reference line xy. Okay. So here your section your cone is resting with its base on HP so that your top will be a circle with its base diameter 50 mm. Now divide this uh, top view into 8 equal parts and name them. Then project all these available points on from your top view onto the vertical plane wherein you can get project your front view. So here draw axis line which is equal to the height of your uh, cone which is 70 mm. Draw the axis line which is equal to the height of 70 mm. Now connect all these base points to your apex and name them. So this completes your simple projection. Now you have to perform sectioning. So here sectioning is the section plane is passing through a point 20 mm from its apex and here section plane is a horizontal section plane. So there is 20 mm from its apex. In a horizontal plane means a horizontal plane is parallel to HP. So this will be your section plane. After the performing the sectioning, plot the section points. Alright. Now project all these section points onto the top view so that you will be getting your sectional top view. So since this is a cone and your section plane is a horizontal section plane the top view will be resembling to a circle so it is enough if you are performing the projection of extreme two points which will be giving you the diameter of this circle which will be the top hatch portion okay this one so this will be your top view of the sectioned area Right now, highlight the remaining portion of the solid and introduce the section points here and highlight the remaining portion of the solid. Similarly, hatch the section area. Now, in your top view, also highlight the remaining portion of the solid. So, this marks you the frustum of the core. So, here, frustum is nothing but it, whenever your solid is sectioned by a plane which is parallel to its base the remaining solid is called as a frustum right now you have completed the section so now i have to transfer this onto my isometric view so in order to do that first enclose your uh, base with a box this pqrs similarly enclose your sectional points there is a sectional view with a box klmn Okay, since this is a frustum, we'll be going by two boxes. Now, transfer these boxes onto the isometric view. In order to do that, first draw a reference line. So, since this is a frustum, you can pick either P or Q. Both are okay. So, let us let me pick P. And with this P as reference, draw your PQ here and PS here with respect to with an inclination of 30 degree with the reference horizontal line like this this will be a pq and here will be a ps right now complete the box as pq or as this marks you the base of your isometric view so within this i have to 
develop my isometric view of the base here so here base is a circle so i have to develop the isometric view of the base circle here okay so in order to do that i will be following a simple methodology first from r connect the opposite midpoints so here opposite midpoints are midpoint of ps and midpoint of pq like this okay similarly from p mark join the opposite midpoint so from p opposite midpoints are rs rs of midpoint this one and rq midpoint like this okay and name these two points as x1 and x2 x1 x2 the point at which it meets the midpoint now with r as center r and x1 as radius draw an arc now again from p as center p x2 as radius draw an arc similarly stay take this point as o1 with o1 as center o x2 as radius draw an arc and similarly this repeat the same procedure on this side also so the resulting image or resulting curve will give you the isometric view of the circle which resembles to an ellipse or an oval so i am just replacing it with an uh, accurate ellipse so that it will be easy for you to visualize so this is the one which is in the orange color resembles to the actual isometric view of the circle then connect these points and get the points that are there on your base here so transfer all those points here so this will be a b c d e f g h okay similar to this now your base of your cone is done now i have to go for the top view this one so for this let me first pick a line along this axis okay draw a line along from this midpoint with this and will be axis the height of this will be equal to the difference between your total height and the height at which from which your section minus that which means 50, 70 minus 20 so the height of this axis will be 50 it means what i am going to just transfer the re remaining solid that is the first amount to the isometric view i won't be going for the the one which is removed right okay? so the height here will be equal to the distance from your base to the section plane which will be a 50 mm so here it will be a 50 mm height for this axis line right now listen very carefully so i have to transfer this box on to here okay for that what we'll be doing is so i know the length and width of this box which will be can measure it which will be kl and kn okay so if i mark a distance here just transfer this kl okay on to this distance like this so this line equals to the kl distance and this line equals to the kn distance and this line the line which you are drawing here you will be taking the orientation of this pq so whenever you are drawing any lines on this uh, isometric view it will be following a y shape which you already know okay so this line will be equal to the length of kl which has the direction of pq similarly this line has the length of kn which takes the direction of ps so like this so with this as the reference complete the box so again this will be actual kn this will be the n and this will be your kn and this will be your l okay like this so this first box this first cross is drawn in order to get the orientation of this box on to this particular point so after completing this the we have uh, transferred this box successfully onto the isometric view within this box 
use the same principle which I have used for uh, developing the base circle. Similarly, use the same principle for developing the sectional circle also here. Okay, and transfer all these section points onto this sectional area. Now connect all these section points with your base. So this completes your first step. Then highlight the remaining uh, curves that is your uh, boundaries. This and similarly here the behind portion is given as a hidden since it will be hidden from the view and hatch the sectional area in your isometric view. So this gives you the isometric view of the frustum of a cone. So if you want to do it as an isometric projection, whenever transferring any dimension onto this isometric view, multiply it with 0.82 times. Right? Thank you.